in this video we are going to look at the valve timing diagram this is the theoretical valve timing diagram so you should always consider we should look at the valve timing diagram from its inner circle so every time the valve timing cycle begins from this point so from that the suction process happens in suction process the inlet valve opens so we can see in the diagram so here the inlet valve is in open condition so that the atma the few air fuel mixture and air from the atmosphere and the fuel is mixed in the carburetor and sent through this valve so here the, the air fuel mixture gets into the cylinder so what happens at the time the piston goes down from TDC to BDC that's why in this diagram we have drawn the circle from the top to bottom that is TDC to BDC after reaching the BDC the suction process ends at this point so from here the compression process begins in compressor process we could see that it starts from BDC and it moves to the TDC here diagrammatically you could see that the compression process begins from bottom which is indicated by this arrow so it ends at the top so here we could see that the both inlet valve and outlet valve is in closed condition so that no gases that is no air fuel mixture escapes from the cycle here the spark plug is missing sorry for that yeah this is the spark plug after this cycle after this cycle after this process the this compression process ends at this point after this compression process the next process begin at this point so from here that is from the TDC the expansion process begins the expansion process is nothing but a power stroke so here we could see that after this piston reaches the top dead center that is this point top dead center the power stroke begins here this spark plug ignites the air fuel mixture inside the cylinder so that a power the increase in temperature and pressure is uh, introduced inside the uh, cylinder which in turn moves the piston in downward direction in this power stroke in this power stroke the piston moves from the top dead center into the bottom dead center so this power why we call this as a power stroke because only in this process we get the power to reciprocate the piston so after the end of this power stroke the piston will be at the BDC that is bottom dead center at this point so here we, we also we can also see here that after the expansion that is the power stroke the piston is at the BDC that is at the bottom dead center so from here now what we have to do is the piston have to remove all the burnt gases so what happens it again compresses the uh, burnt gases so the piston travels from BDC to TDC so in this diagram we could see here is the piston is travel the piston travels from BDC to TDC so that the inlet valve is closed you have to note that the inlet valve is closed and the exhaust valve is open so that all the this arrow indicates all the burnt gases are passed passed through the exhaust valve so this piston uh, just presses all the gases inside the uh, cylinder to the uh, through the uh, exhaust valve so the all the gases escapes to the atmosphere through the exhaust gas at the point that the point where the exhaust uh, process ends again the next the cycle begins from the suction process that is it begins from this point after the end of this uh, exhaust 
excess process again the suction process is repeated again the process repeats and ends at the exhaust thank you friends